John here and today we're doing more work on the lawn tractor which today has dr driven over a stone and thrown its drive belt. So all we've done so far is just taken the cover off between the seat and the steering column. Uh, this drive belt was slack and you can just see a pulley here. There's a white mark on it. Where is it? There it is. And that's where this stone was wedged in it. Um, mowing the lawn, heard a bit of a clatter, nothing out of the ordinary there. And that had flown up, got stuck in the pulley and allowed the drive belt to jump off that pulley. So now we're going to see if we can get it back on. First thing is I've jacked it up. Surprisingly awkward little things to jack up lawn mowers. Everything moves. But if you look underneath the front, this is your exhaust. This rail is okay to jack on. And then I'm supporting it on two axle stands, one on either end of the swinging front axle. These are brilliant axle stands, this style. Uh, if you've never used them before, you know what you're missing. Basically just pull the top up and that lever bounces up and down as it ratchets into position and locks in the highest possible spot. So much easier than the pin column type. Once we're underneath, so there's the exhaust, that pulley is the actual drive from the engine. And the drive belt, I'm trying to work the camera upside down, goes over a pulley, but you can see a shiny one, which is a tensioner. And then back to the other side, and then round another tensioner, and that goes off to work your cutting. If you Look, this pulley is actually a double, and the higher belt up here is the one that slipped. And basically, it come off this pulley. So that needs to go the other side of there, which looks really difficult. But how this vehicle engages and disengages drive is the silver pulley you can see moves and when you put the foot on the brake which is also the clutch it moves that pulley so I'm gonna to go to top side now and lock the brake on okay so now if I press the brake pedal Can you see this pulley moving? And that's the pulley we want to thread the, the um, belt over. So if I push the brake pedal all the way down and then use that little lever, I should, there we go, be able to lock the handbrake on, which actually keeps this pulley slack. back underneath, there's my fingers, I can try to manoeuvre the pulley and the belt more importantly, through that gap there. position. Nearly got it in. Hopefully you can see the belt. There it is. So what I'm going to try and do now is take a bit of pressure off the brake pedal. There we go. And see if that makes it easier to manoeuvre this belt back on. 
Not a lot easier is the simple answer. But we will get there. Being careful not to put any damage on the belt. Now we're back together. Let's have another look. So now, here we go. This is the belt that was off. And that's the location where it come off. And I was trying to squeeze it through that gap between this and this and this and this. And it's riding on its back, in effect, the flat part of the belt in there. And hopefully, whew, that will now run nicely. So, time to find out. Okay, so, sat back on the tractor. Uh, I've left the cover off down there. Not recommended, but obviously I want to see what happens so we're all back together and now I'm gonna see if we can mow the lawn okay <laughs> 